so it's uh, it's a pleasure to talk after Brian. Wonderful conference, wonderful uh, environment. I think that we feel feel the buzz, lots of commotion in the field. We have lots of things that extend lifespan in mice. There are thousands of drugs that are getting into clinical trials. We've seen a bunch of drugs uh, in clinical trials, the data from those. Uh, some of them clearly working, and a lot more of them will work in coming years. But uh, please ask yourself a question. Uh, do you believe that with anything that we are testing right now, but not we like Jira, but as a community, do you believe that anything that we are testing right now could double human lifespan? I mean, raise your hand if you believe that you know a project that is close to clinical trials that states this goal. So the basic question is that was this our dream? I think when people, at least like me, when we come to this field, we are thinking about something more than that. I represent JIRA, which is a data-driven biotech, uh, which is uh, uh, bringing the best of, let's say, engineering and physical sciences into data analysis from large human data sets in order to mechanistically reverse engineer uh, aging in the data and the biology of aging in the data and the relation of uh, aging and uh, chronic diseases. Probably we represent was, well, probably the most aggressive approach to reverse engineer aging in the data and find factors that are controlling aging. Uh, with what we do, we can do two things. Uh, so first, we can uh, help pharma uh, companies to understand the relation between aging and the diseases. Aging is hard to modify, so pharma is not eager to modify aging because it's hard. But age-related diseases have lots of uh, confounding factors that are coming from the aging process. So we can help them to find drugs with real-world evidence. So humans are the best studied animals in the world. We have hundreds of millions of electronic medical records, uh, tens of millions of genomes. I mean, really, there is no lab animal that has a compat compatible amount of, of health information. And second, with the same data, we can identify factors that are controlling the rate of aging in humans, in human data. My, uh, my, the question about uh, fault increase uh, of multiple fold increase of human lifespan comes from the fact that we see from the data that almost no drugs that we are testing right now or sending to clinical trials as, as the community would affect the rate of aging in humans. And that's a prediction, but uh, well, remember, uh, remember this talk in a few years from now. Uh, that's disappointing, but we know that there are some lucky animals, well, there are some lucky mammals, in fact, that uh, have their rate of aging essentially brought to zero. We need to understand fundamental biology of the rate of aging, and uh, we have lots of data on that. Think about that. If you produce a 10% effect of your risk of death of a disease, that translates only into one year of lifespan extension. If you can affect rate, the rate of aging twice, you will have two-fold lifespan increase. The last but not the least, from what we see, if we interpret that correctly, we see that aging in humans is much harder to revert than to stop. And really, with the existing technology, you can slow down aging, but I believe it will be very hard to produce the age reversal, which means that we don't have time. I mean, if we could reverse aging, we could, you know, uh, play around with certain things and believe that if some of us would be lucky, we can get our 10 years back. It's not. So time is the essence. Five minutes is too short, so that's why I don't have slides. So if you are intrigued with what I'm saying, please find me on social media. Please like and share, because I need your friends. Um, there we write a lot more. We also write something in science and nature papers. If you are from pharma, uh, please talk to me. We are working with Pfizer. We will announce another deal soon. We can help you because we understand what aging is, and we can help you regress it out from the data if you don't want to do anti-aging drugs. If you possess te technical knowledge and share our goals, please talk to me and work with us. And if you are an investor looking for a transformative project, please talk to me. Thanks.